Hello, I'm going to walk you through how to set up a local site in an application called AMPS. Um, this use case is I have a repo already set up in another folder, but I want to set up a local site and move those files over to the new local site I created AMPS. So I'm going to go walk you through how to do that and uh, each step that uh, gets us to the finish line. So let's. So the first step is you're going to want to create a new local domain. To do that, you want to go to the main control panel page of AMPS. And so you see the main home page here. You click on Manage Domains. And this lists out all the local domains I've got set up right now. I want to create one for the counterterrorism project. So I click come here. I type counter.local. And this is the path where it's going to get saved. Now, if, if there's a, if the repo has a subfolder for the document root, you're going to want to make sure this location points to that subfolder. But in this case, the document root is in the root of the uh, repo, so this, this will work. So I click Add Domain. And that will create it. Now, if you get an error on this, this step when you create a new domain and you're on Windows, and it says something like cannot access the host file, that means that uh, AMPS does not, is not able to edit your host file. Um, in my case, it is, and so when I go to counter.local, it loads the site. If it can't on Windows, you're going to want to look up UAC or running AMPS as administrator um, to figure out how to get AMPS access to being able to edit that host file so that it'll work like this. So right now, I just created a new local. So if I go here to the manage domains, it'll list it under there. But as I can see in this counter.local screen, it doesn't load anything. It's just an empty site. So the next step will be, since I've already pulled down the repo in another folder, I'm just going to go to that folder, and I'm going to copy the, the, those files. I'm going to go to the new counter.local file that is, was created by AMPS, in the, where AMPS is located. I'm going to go in here. I'm going to paste the files in here. And this includes all the repo files, all the files that are in the document run. Now, Doing this, if I if I loaded the site after this gets done, it would not work. And the reason because we, is because we don't have a database yet. And so if you go to the home page of this control panel, click on PHP my admin, it's not going to create a database for you by default going this route. So we're going to want to create a new one. Let's call this counter. Hit save. It's got a counter. If I click here, it's created. Um, so the, the first step in this, this use case is we're going to want to copy the database from the dev site and import it into our local database that we just created. So I'll go to the dev site. I'm already logged into the admin. So I'll go to the configure page. I go to backup and migrate. And I click, I have default database selected. And click on backup now. Now this will download a database. If you want to get the user files locally, you would come to the same page and you would select the public files directory and you would put this in the site's default files directory on your local uh, local site folder. So that downloaded the database. So I come back to PHP my admin, I click on import. I go ahead and select the file that I just downloaded. And I usually use the default and I hit go. Now there may be setting, you may end up getting an error, some timeouts, or you may ask you to rerun the, the import a few times. There are some settings you can configure in the AMPS MySQL configuration file and the PHP configuration file that would fix that issue. Uh, but for, for this it works fine. If I go back to here, click on counter, I see all the Drupal tables and data that I've brought over. Now if I refresh, it's not going to work because I did not update the settings file. So if I go to my program here, I'm going to open up the folder uh, where this is located at. So it's just counted out local. <clears throat> Since I already had a local setup before, I already had a settings file. If you don't have a settings file for the local, if you're setting up a blank or you're just connecting to the repo for the first time, this will not exist, and so you would want to create it. Um, and actually, a default settings file should actually be there, uh, but I don't know, it's not in this repo for some reason. But in any case, if you open up this 
file, you change the name of the database we just created. Now, I just copied this over. It's saying that basically I can't write to it. So on my Mac, I would just go to where this uh, AMPS puts the uh, local sites, and I would just schmod, schmod, I would just change the permissions to uh, for this whole file, for this whole directory, recursively, I would change it to make it writable. Now, you do not want to do this type of thing on, on the dev server, but locally this is fine, and this will, just, this will fix all permission issues if we come back here. If I try to change this to, oh, there it is, so the settings dot default.settings file is in here. So, I change the settings.php file with the uh, database I just created, so we'll call this counter. We'll use we'll use the root user and the default uh, root the default password for the root user in amps is MySQL. Everything else stays the same. I hit save. Now if I come here, refresh, it should load the site and it should actually match what is on dev. Now if you get to the spot and the Drupal site loads but you're missing images, that's when you would want to go back to backup and migrate on the dev site and export the public files directory and paste those files into the site's default files and that should load it for you. Um, and if you follow this process for each new site, this um, you can have as many local sites running in your AMPS application.